Hey everyone, and welcome back to Bob's Pet Farm. Welcome to episode number 12. Welcome to the grand tour of the farm. Yeah, welcome everyone to this wonderful tour. And before we start, a huge thank you to all of you supporting me on this series. As you know, this series was pre-produced uh, since actually last December as a little bit of a break for me being away with a little baby. And uh, yeah, I think I can only say that this was the best idea ever. And you know, honestly, I was also a bit lucky um, simply because uh, the new deal did not um, bring new pieces but only new animals and to be fair those animals we got are not really fitting to a farm anyway so um, there's nothing that kind of made this uh, series less interesting or something so I really I really had a bit of luck here um, but anyways we will have a little tour today of Bob's farm um, and I will also say there are some items from the workshop such as these beautiful wind turbines I just found them were fitting in here um, to give this all a bit more of a realistic aspect um, you can find this in the description. There is a collection of all items I used from the workshop so that every creator gets their credit that they do deserve. And if you guys are interested into, you know, me being a dad, how the first weeks have been uh, going, uh, stick with me. I'll let you know at the very end of the video a little bit about it, um, simply as a little thank you for sticking with me, for giving all these videos uh, so much love and so much uh, attention, you know. Look at the cows moving there in the grass. I love that. This is exactly what I had in mind uh, when I created this series. I, I really do think this looks this looks really the way I wanted it to. I imagined this to be looking like that. I can just move a little bit forward just to frame that a bit nicer. Look at that frame. That looks so cool. Not gonna lie, this looks really cool. How often do I say not gonna lie? I really have to say that more more seldom. Uh, anyways, let's let's go up onto our little tour. So this is where you come from. This is actually this is the the road. Um, I made it uh, just like that. I I started to do the road markings, but oh my god, this took way too long and I was like nah it's just not you know this series is meant to be a little bit more easy going and I tried to make as much as I can in the time frame and um, just so you know I made this um, during Yosemite during the aquatic house and during all the other projects going on and during the prehistoric kingdom alpha so um, lots of stuff going on at the same time before the baby was born and I was really um, you know trying to get everything together for you guys so um, yeah, just feel my pain, okay? I, I tried my best, so this is not, you know, not every little bit an inch is perfect. You can see this fence over here uh, looks actually broken, but it's not. It's it's that way because the cows, for some odd reasons, can escape. Also, there will be some escapes happening, especially from baby animals, simply because I, I always do the mistake that I do create my exhibits only with the adult animals in mind, which is a huge mistake. So if, if you guys do this, please always make sure to get a baby first. Um, you can see the these uh, goats over here, by the way, love it. I love these goats. They fit so well in here. Alpacas, llamas, also some babies we will we will spot over there in a bit. Um, but you can see people roaming around here looks very fantastic. I think it really gives you the nice vibe it should have. Um, also, also, and this is limited to 500 guests, and I think this is fair for a farm like that. Look at that. There we have a baby goat. They're so cute. They're so cute. Look at this one. Yay! It was eating, there's no food left, and there's the family going over here. Yeah, I like the sidelines in this project a lot. I think it worked out pretty well with creating the hill first and then, you know, just going further into the project. I love how it looks with the wind turbines here in the back. I love the contrast between those old wooden ones and then the huge as modern uh, wooden thingy, uh, the kind of, um, yeah, steel. Is it kind of steel, lightweight steel? I don't know what exactly the materials of these things. Um, and then there you go, we have some sheeps over here, merino sheep. The fluffy ones with their fellow baby sheep. Um, actually, those look the same. They look the same as the doll sheep, but I love those things. Look at the texture and stuff. That's a really brilliant mod. I love that one. This, uh, this texture is amongst the best of all mods I have tested so far. Um, simply the, um, the texturing and the fuzziness of the shader together create this wonderful wooly look that they do bring, and I, I think it really works wonders how the bump map works and so on, but let's not get too technical about that. I just, you know, I love it just from a design perspective, really nice. I love this building in the back here, looks like a really nice shed uh, where you would put some stuff in and, you know, this just normal typical stuff. I, I'm not, I don't know why, but I'm still a huge fan of these high belts. Um, 
I, I know how much I struggled with the design, but I'm very happy with how it ended up. And yeah, this is our pig uh, area, where we have some normal white pigs, and we have some warthogs roaming around, some baby pigs, some baby warthogs, really cool stuff. Oops, there was an autosave. Um, so yeah, in general, I, I really do like how this all works together. I like, you know, I like the pigs um, as a mod as well. Look at that one! That's just like, that's just perfect, inch perfect pig behavior. Your ear is broken though, but that's fine. That's fine. It's not too bad. Oh, I love that area. I just love that area. And then we have like, this is the huge entrance to the big farm and then the big barn building, I should say. And then there we have like a more modern barn in the background, which is kind of also connected to the silos, the like the grain silo, uh, silos it could be. And then we have the playing ground and I like the playing ground. I like especially the view here with those uh, wind turbines because it just kind of adds so much to it. Um, all these assets here from the playground are from the workshop. The only thing I did is just assemble it and also having these little you know um, darker areas below which um, should be like some rubber pads or something I guess that's pretty nice excuse me I just needed to sneeze very hard here I just muted my phone I think in the right second mm, yeah that's the pollen allergy you cannot do too much about it however this year is pretty good my voice is not suffering as much but I'm I'm, I'm, I'm sneezing quite a lot more Anyhow, let's go further. There's in this more modern barn, uh, we have also just kind of hanging thing over here. Um, this is also where you can grab some snacks over here and if you want to sit down, maybe if the weather isn't as good or if you just want to have some shade, you can go in. And if we go further, we do see actually some more buildings and this beautiful tractor over here. I love that model. I forgot who it was, but again, you can find that in the description. That's just such a beautiful model. And you can see this is the Grand uh, Bison Fields, but actually now as we have some cows, there are also some cows over here. Um, look at that one, a bulky one. Oh man, I, I just love, I just love these mods. They bring so much life to the farm over here. We've got a flowy high bell. This is, um, this is a secret test by, by the NASA um, to experiment with hovering. Uh, it's working pretty fine by now. And then we have those incredible things. I think they fit so well in here, these insect hotels, um, also from the workshop. And um, I, I tried making my own ones, but then I was like, you know, they are just so good. You can't really get them much smaller than that. Um, the size of it is already pretty dang neat, and so yeah. Oh, look at that! There's also an otter lying in the background in front of their bar barreled thingies. Looks so cool. Um, speaking about otters, let's just run over here into the otter area. Um, look at them! They're just lying here in front of us. They have some stinky fish around them. Oh my god! Look at them curious here. But no one is swimming. Isn't there anyone swimming in the water? Um, if they had babies, the babies did escape. I'm quite sure about that. Let's have a little look over here where the spinning wheel is. Is there anyone in the water? Anyone down here? Nobody, nope. Okay, let's let's go back to our actual track. Uh, also, we also have ostriches here, by the way, in case I forgot to say that. Look at the oh, look at the views. I just love that. This is just looking so dang cool with the people here and you know. Just those views are just so cool. Also, like with the tractor over there, and yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of the views. I'm a big fan of those views. Not going to lie, <laughs> sorry. Oh man, you know, I need another catchphrase for that one. I am, I'm pretty honest about. This. Uh, this is, ah, it looks good, it looks really good. Also a little mistake here, I kept that open for the airflow. Um, so, <laughs> oh gosh. Um, this one over here, I love also how the people come out of this uh, cornfield, you know. This is this is just also so much uh, reminiscent of like an actual corn maze or something. I really do like that little bit here. Um, let's go through and just follow that road. And then we can see on the other side there are also the, the wine, um, little wine hills, and we have got some peafowls over there. Uh, this is again connected to the other habitat. Oh, look at that! There's a baby. There's a baby in the background jumping into the water in a bit. Yay! Getting for some swimmies. Okay, cool. Let's continue this way. Um, I gotta have to be a bit more careful over here because we have all the elephant grass, which does elevate me. Oh, look at that! There's also an otter come come swimming by over here. Uh, let's go over and oh my goodness, look at that! Look at this view here with the sun coming down. Oh boy, that looks so cool with the people looking over there, having. Oh gosh, this looks all so good while we hear some more escapes happening in the background. Honestly, I couldn't care less. This is like a farm. They can roam around free if they want. Um, but yeah, this is the wine area over here. Let's let's have a little look if we can catch one of the peafowls doing that thing. 
Um, I just tried to record this um, earlier today and then uh, unfortunately when I was editing it I figured I forgot to record my sound. But in this recording we actually had one of the P-Falls doing uh, their opening things here, the wheel thingy and uh, I just, I don't know, they just don't do this for me and I have no clue why. Now they're all eating, we won't, won't be able to spot that but let's just have a little look how they're just picking their food. Look at that, yum 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 yum, nom nom nom, nom 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 nom. Let's have a let's enjoy our 32-bit texture food. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, like this is one of the little things I would love to see improved in a in a future version of a zoo game like that. You know, um, the enrichment and the food has been really good in this game, anyways. But I would love to see that a little bit more. Um, how to say that? A little bit more even differentiated, like or, or more different variants of food and stuff like that. You know, you can do have. Uh, you know, you have you have three different. Um, types of food or grades of food so to say that's kind of nice anyways but you know I would love to see just more enrichment with food and stuff that is a lot more realistic to see that would be nice or maybe even some some food from the guests that they can give or something like that. I, I don't know but yeah I'm just moving once up here so you can see the view from the wine hills I love the fact how you can look over the valley here oh, that's, is, it, yeah, is it the valley uh, over the farm let's have a look uh, can we just go on top of that yeah there you go Look at this. Yeah, I really do like that. Look at that one. Still picking. Still getting some food. Yeah. I'm a bit speechless because that's just only 12 episodes and this one being the tour. So it's in fact 11 episodes. That's just nothing. And you can create so much in the game with using a lot more blueprints and stuff. I do like that. But we, we still need to continue. The tour is not done yet. So we have a lot more to see. Well, not a lot more, but we have quite some more to see. So let's go. Look at the little girl here. Hello, little girl. Hello. Hello. Okay, let's not focus too much on the girl. Let's go further. And we do have another view from over here into the alpaca slash goat slash llama habitat. And the fact why we have the goats in here is simply because they did escape in every other habitat. So I was like, meh, I'm going to put them in here. <laughs> um, then we do have a little uh, glimpse into the cow habitat. This is that one over here, which is like big fields. And then if we go even further to this hand side over here, you can see that is the apple tree farm and this is where the odd walks do live odd walks are ah, you guys in here look at that the whole family is here the whole family is eating some stuff in between oh my god this looks also so cool this is really i mean just look at that that's so brilliant looking here and yeah just in in terms of um these apple trees, um, I know that they don't really look like apple trees, however, our local apple tree farm kind of does it the way they, these things are. They intentionally don't let the apple trees grow that big, um, so they do only have these smaller things, and then they also have like, you know, I tried to use these um, white ones as like the blooming stuff that you would have in the in springtime, and then before like, you know, the apples grow, um, I just try to, to do that, and this is some something they have, and I wanted to make it this way. And I tried to, to use these reddish things to as, as if you have uh, even more apples falling down or some, some leaves and stuff. And, you know, they dried out and, you know, just creating creating that look. But yeah, so this is, this is our apple farm and this is the farm in general. I think this is the last habitat. And now I'm just going to fly over. There you go, taking that position. And now let's take those last couple minutes here to really thank you guys every single one of you because it's not you know it's not really i don't take this for granted that you guys support me also through this time where i haven't been too active here i mean i had some videos pre-prepared that i only needed to record um i do admit i i worked my ass off a lot i produced every single bit like i nearly produced all of the prehistoric kingdom stuff before the baby was born I produced every single bit for the DLC before the baby was born, like for the Southeast America one. Um, that was coming just just in time. Um, and since we knew a little bit early on which animals it will be featuring, I could create some habitats for them already, as you know from the live stream, obviously. Um, so that was really handy for me. And 
I really do like the fact that you guys key, kept um, supporting me by commenting, by liking. And, you know, this channel wouldn't be anything without people like you supporting this. And, you know, every single comment, like, and even dislike is helping the video to be, to be shared by YouTube. As you know, the algorithm is something very weird indeed and something that, you know, you always have to make work or make it work in your favor and uh, so this is why it is not normal if you guys support me like that so i'm really i'm really happy so thank you guys so so much for supporting me and if you do still like the content and you haven't subscribed yet please make sure to do so because that helps me the most and um, this shows youtube that this content is appreciated and i think the newest thing is if you do click on another video of me in a playlist or something like that this is even better for youtube because they see okay it seems like you like this content and so we keep pushing this type of content to you in fact um, they keep pushing the content I produce to you because you know at times um, I can totally understand if you all do not want to activate the notification stuff because you get too many a day I have it myself um, I, I just like to get back to my uh, feed and then just see if my favorite creators have uploaded something and I'm just checking that in the feed however many people don't know that you also need to get into the people's feed first and it's not normal um, that if someone you subscribe to makes a video Video appears in your feed because the feed most likely is something that is um, yeah well well uh, also created by the best ones only and not everything but that's just too much about it just wanted to let you know uh, why I'm so thankful as well that you guys did it and now as promised um, let's talk about way more important things than this shitty <laughs> shitty algorithm boring stuff um, as promised uh, here are some words about our first few weeks as parents and guys I cannot tell you how happy I am I, I mean you always kind of think about it, how it would be, how it could be, and it's better than you could even dream of. And, you know, um, I think we are also pretty lucky with our little girl. She's a, she's a star. She's doing so many things already that is um, very, very much not normal. Um, we do have, on average, five to seven hours of sleep a night, which is just ridiculous, con um, you know, uh, regarding what we have heard from other people and friends. Um, she's she's developing super well. She's, you know, gaining weight just as she should. She's she's growing just, just as she should. And she's, you know, giving us the smiles, uh, starting to make some funny noises. Um, and, and just very active, curious little girl. And, you know, it's, being a dad is the best thing in the world. And if people would have asked me before if I'm ready, I would have answered no. If they asked me if I'm ready now, I would answer no. I think, you know, you're never ready. You you just, you know, I think you grow into this and that's how it is. Um, but if anyone has any doubts about it, I can only tell it's the best thing ever to happen in life. Uh, you know, the, so many other things become less relevant and I'm I'm mostly talking about the negative things um, and the positive things are even supported by it like you know I I'm more creative than I've ever been before I could like literally sit down here and create content for eight hours straight in fact I couldn't because I need to go down to the baby after like a maximum an hour because I miss her um, so <laughs> there are so many cute things um, and your you know your, your your mind and everything is freed and you just have so many important things in life that you know um, the baby is basically um, yeah, making even better. So yeah, I'm, I'm just a very happy dad and I really hope that you guys um, can enjoy me being happy for longer and you know that I can translate this happiness and, and the inspiration into more stuff for you guys. But again, I really do thank every single one of you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope you enjoyed that I prepared it for you. Please let me know how you liked it. What was your favorite habitat? Um, what's your favorite modded animal in here? And also, if you have babies or if you have kids, um, how are you feeling or how, how was your feeling? in the first couple of weeks that will be very interesting to know and i really hope that every one of you is doing good and uh, yeah stay safe everyone have a good time and goodbye